it's really great to be back in the industry and we have suffered too long from COVID, having had the um, opportunity with meeting customers only on a screen and via phone. And it's a people business. So we are really happy to be back on the floor with our customers. It was really, really busy. It was uh, impossible for us in the last two days to actually get away from our booth to see what is uh, what is presented uh, on the exhibition. It's exactly how we expected it. It's how we wanted it to be because we came with a special product offer and additional services that we newly launched and we have received great interest from our customers. I mean, the, uh, the, whole, the whole new trend is about uh, e-mobility, zero emissions, which is why we have launched uh, new products. We are standing here in front of one of the uh, new product platforms, which is the AC135. This is available both in a conventional, but also all electric version. And we are happy that um, we have as a lead factory, our India factory, which has already successfully introduced the product in the market and we see a great uh, customer response. Well, we have, uh, you know, uh, at the show, we first time we have an Indian bus manufacturer uh, presenting and launching buses, uh, you know, uh, uh, in this show for the markets outside India. So that's a positive uh, thing which we have seen here. Apart from that, we have a lot of visitors from India. As far as Ebispecker is concerned in India, we not only produce for India, but also for our customers across the, the, you know, across the world and, you know, supplying to other countries. So we have many, many visitors. So it was pretty busy and, uh, you know, I would say a very successful show so far. In all of that development, let me just also add that um, we have developed our Indian factory really becoming an even more important role in our global production footprint. Under the leadership of KP Singh and his team, we have made the Indian uh, factory a world class that also supports products and demands outside India particularly. And our Indian based uh, production facility is really, really on highly competitive. Yeah, the first I would say, uh, you know, the the product which is engineered uh, in Germany there, you know, we have, uh, uh, I mean, the best in class products there, the reliability and, uh, you know, the robustness of the products. And when you talk about the total cost of ownership and the life cycle of the product, so we are, I think, best in class in that sense. So, yes, uh, there was competition and there will be competition. And that's how we, we stand apart. And we are a pretty strong team. And, uh, you know, the products what we offer, so we are in a very, very good position in the Indian market there. Yes, I mean, being now uh, three years after the um, impact, the negative uh, impacts of the COVID pandemic, we can see that markets sustainably coming back. We see recoveries basically in, in every market. And what is uh, very important also to see that the coach markets are coming back. We believe that uh, long term there will be a shift. We will probably not see so many coaches being produced as compared to pre-COVID and there is um, a much higher shift towards city bus production. But generally, we see in all markets a sustainable recovery. And due to our good positions in the markets, we are participating in that recovery. Same trend we have seen in India now. You know, we have a strong recovery, I would say. After the COVID, the intercity segment is doing well. I would say, uh, yeah, the shift towards e-mobility is there and that is uh, very much uh, obvious that, you know, uh, we have sustainability goals in the country, you know, uh, CO2 reduction goals. So there is a lot of investment coming from the government on that side. Uh, yes, we, uh, we are pretty much optimistic about the markets in India. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And we are there to participate in this growth journey, uh, you know, along with our customers. The outlook is, uh, we, we, are, we are clear that uh, the um, short term and longer term will see um, again an uh, increase in the total uh, vehicle production. 
I mean, uh, we have seen, and according to official statistics, uh, the market globally should grow by seven or eight percent consolidated annual growth rate. We see that uh, really happening. We believe, though, that the um, that the uh, percentage of city buses versus coaches will further increase. So, city bus, intercity bus will continue playing a very important role for public transport. Yeah, the market is growing. Uh, we have seen the numbers coming from the last quarter from the OEM. So they are reporting double digit growth in the bus market. And I see a sustainable uh, recovery in the market. And this will, uh, I, I would say, the next couple of years, we say the market on uh, the bus and coach will be growing in India. And uh, along with that, you know, a lot of move towards the e-buses uh, is, is what we can, uh, you know, clearly see there.